in this lecture we are going to learn about two dimensional arrays and pointers okay so what are two dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays are used to represent a table okay a matrix so here is our matrix a okay where i have the rows and the columns okay and we need to represent that so for that we use what is known as two dimensional array for two dimensional array of integer i can define like a 3 4 which means i define a two dimensional array which has three rows okay so three rows and in each row there are four columns so there are a total of three into four 12 elements are there in this two dimensional array now again we want to find the relation between pointers and two dimensional array so is there any relation so to understand that let's first look how the two dimensional array is stored in the memory we know that two and the memory of computer is just a linear memory locations okay so memory is something like if i start this memory let's say here it goes on here it goes on so this way your memory starts from 10 and each integer okay so occupies four bytes so first integer will be stored okay let's say at so we have this memory okay 10 14 18 22 basically this consists of four memory locations 10 11 12 13 and then 14 and so on so when we have this array a3 4 so how are they stored so let's say it starts at memory location 10 so contiguously the array are stored so first row is stored here so this part is the first row okay so this is stored then the second row starts so this is the second row and it goes till here so memory location 38 then the third row starts okay and basically it continues till here so this is how the rows are contiguously stored and inside each row the elements are contiguously stored so this is the array so you have basically a two dimensional thing like this so basically what i do so let's try to put it with some different colors so our first row is this second row is this and third row is let's say green so what will happen now is we will have first row here then we will have the second row here and then we will have our third row here so this is how in memory it is stored linearly okay so now the thing is pointers we are very much familiar now so what happens so this is a00 the base address the starting point of your two dimensional array and it goes on now we would like to know that okay when here a is the memory location of a00 so a is basically pointer to a00 and it's a two dimensional pointer okay so a is this one is the address of a00 now this a is a two dimensional pointer it's a pointer to a pointer so if i do a plus one so we know about pointer arithmetic because a is a two dimensional pointer so if you do a plus one so it will not shift to the next element but it will shift to the so this is a plus one okay so this was a this is a plus one and then if you do a plus two so it is basically because a is a two dimensional pointer and represents address of the first element of a row so a plus two will go to the basically the third row okay so it will come to this place okay a plus two this is there now let's try to see what is then star of a star a is now the starting point of the base address of the first row okay so similarly if i do a plus one okay and star so this means what it is now here in the first memory location of the 
the second row okay so let's try to see so this is our table i've copied the memory locations here so a is the pointer to a00 okay its value is 10 a plus 1 it goes to the first row this is a plus 1 and similarly this will be a plus 2 a plus 2 points to the second row okay if we start the index from 0 now what will be the pointer for a i j okay so let's try to see that so what is a i j if i want to write it in terms of pointers so it will be what is a i a i is the i th row so i can write it simply as a of a plus i i will go to the i th row for example a plus 2 to the second row now i have to go to the let's say the jth element so what will i do so of that i need to first convert it to a pointer to a single dimensional array so i put a star here so now a plus i so for example star a plus 2 is this address and it is a single pointer which means i am now at a pointer to a row okay so if i do a plus i i go to the ith row i do make it a single pointer to a single dimensional array then if i do plus j so this now pointer arithmetic will take place on a single dimensional array and it will take me to the jth element so for example a plus 2 plus 2 0 1 2 it will point me to this one so this is star a plus 2 plus 2 so this is equal to 50 now if i do star of star a plus 2 plus 2 it will give me the value so this is the main idea here a i j can be represented as star of a plus i this gives me the row okay pointer to the row ith row i do plus j i go to the jth element in the ith row i do dereference it and i get the a i j any other way to do the same thing so we have tried some more things so let's try to see this what is this in fact this should not be there or should it be so no it should not be there so a plus i again a plus i will take me to the ith row pointer to the ith row if i do a star to this one again it will make a pointer to a single dimensional array and if i do a j here again this is something similar to a i j so this is also a i j okay so a single dimensional array and a jth index this one what it is doing a of i it will take me to the ith row plus j okay so this will take me to the ith row and plus j i do so i again i'm coming to the jth column in the ith row i do a star so it will give me the value of aij so these are different ways of writing for a two dimensional array so the thing is we need to understand is we are unpacking a 2d array so which is going on like this into form of this making it linear and then we have to play with the addresses okay so this is for two dimensional arrays and pointers so i hope you understand this thanks a lot